and that's why you don't catch me using sniper rifles anymore. I still don't know why janitors are given full access to use all the firearms at the police station whenever they want. Well, you know what I always say. There ain't no crime like dirt and grime. You literally haven't showered in four days. Criminals carry a lot of guns too, Winters. <sighs> Just keep your distance, please. We're close, but I know how sweaty you get when we're walking places. Where are we going anyway? I don't remember. Okay, for the third time. I've been thinking a lot about the helium filaments we found at the museum. It reminds me of an old case of mine where these guys would make EMP devices with helium cores to get into buildings. I want to crack open the old case file, see if there's any leads or details that we could follow up on. So why are we out here in the middle of nowhere? Because this is where the Chief of Records lives. Of course! He can get the old record for us. Yep. Since we don't have access to files anymore, we'll need to persuade him to help. Oh yes. You just leave this to me, Winters. You are looking at the undisputed king of sweet talk. Uh, consider yourself disputed. You are the worst at talking to people. Uh, excuse me. Which one of us here has a girlfriend? I've been married for like three years. Crap! I totally forget what his name is. Do you remember? Uh, B something. Bigelord, Bumbleton. It absolutely isn't those names. Oh man, he's opening the door. I got it. Ho ho, well if it isn't my main man, Biff. How are you, Biff, old buddy? That's not my name. Sorry about my partner, he's kind of an idiot. It's quite alright. When you wear a tag that says Sergeant Bife, you'd be amazed how badly people pronounce it. Yeah, not everyone is as smart as I am, boof. Shut it. So what brings you to my house? I haven't seen you around the precinct lately. Yeah, we've been- Yeah, we've been taking care of some scum, mopping up some low-life dirt, keeping the streets clean. Hmm, wow. Sounds like you're hard at work. Well, not really. Things have gotten pretty boring since they made us Jan- You Aries official employees of the month, people are just bending over backwards to help us out with cases. We were actually wondering if you could help us out. Do you happen to have the file on the old Silver Bandits case? <laughs> the Silver Bandits. There's a name I haven't heard in a while. At their peak, the Bandits stole over 25,000 glimmers worth of silver from the Tess Eververse Trading Company. Wow. I can't imagine having more than 25,000 glimmer. The robbers were believed to be a group of three to five individuals, although evidence of the exact number was never found. Based on surveys of the ransacked sites, the modus operandi of the group was to electrically overload unsuspecting ships in orbit, force their way on board, and make off with all of the valuables. Furthermore, the group would even Man, this guy sure knows his background lore of case files. Linked only by their signature helium filaments left over at each crime scene which they used to build powerful EMPs, the Silver Bandits terrorized the city with their stint. However, this shadowy band of thieves vanished as mysteriously as they appeared, with their spree quietening down and ultimately going silent within a year. Some say the heat was picking up and they decided to take a step away from the action. Shortly after their disappearance, though, suspicious reports came in of a group manufacturing EMPs on the moon, but no official link was ever found. To this day, we can only speculate as to the whereabouts of the Silver Bandits. Wait, what? I don't remember that. People saw something weird on the moon? Yes. In fact, similar reports have come in recently, though a team has yet to investigate. An abandoned research facility in the Ocean of Storms. 
Oh, awesome. Thanks so much. My pleasure. I'd be happy to get you the official case file at work tomorrow. Oh, well, we don't have access to that. We're just janitors. You're what now? I can't believe how smart that guy was. We actually have a trail to follow with those EMPs on the moon. Let's go. Now hold on there, bucko. I'm not going anywhere. I've got a big date with Millie tonight, and I gotta get ready. Are you kidding me? It's one in the afternoon. Beauty takes time, Winters. Besides, you yourself said you know how sweaty I get. That's a fair point. Well, fine. Have fun on your date. I'll try not to solve this whole case by myself. Well, thanks. I've pulled out all the stops tonight. We'll be dancing at Club Zur and dining at La Ayas Luna Italiana. Well, now who am I supposed to get to go check out this lead with me? Hey, Winters! Holy jeez! All right, okay, keep it cool. Let's go through the pre-date checklist again. Number one, 50 push-ups. I did 12. Check. Number two, shower. I've showered twice. Once in my armor, once out of it. check a -roo. Number three, jam out to pre-date get psyched music with an inspirational montage. In progress. Millie. So this is the place, huh? Yep. This is where the reports of EMPs came from. Thanks for coming with me, Rook. And for not spilling the beans on this whole thing. Anything beats giving out traffic citations all day. Now, how can we scope out this place? I've been around here before. There's a few caves that should be able to give us some cover if we want to stake the place out. Sounds good. We can look for any shady happenings from there. I'm surprised Tragus isn't here. What's he up to tonight? He's on a date. Hopefully having some fun, but realistically ruining all his chances. So tell me about yourself. Where do you work? What? Oh, nice. My uncle works there. Any activity? A few people have gone inside, but nothing quite yet. <sighs> Classic bad guys. Never do anything till you're not looking. So, how have you been, Rook? Police work shaping up to be all you hoped for? Well, after my incident being trained with you guys, the chief actually put me on security detail with the speaker. Wow, that's actually a pretty big job. Eh, it was mostly routine stuff, really. Just following him around all day. I actually did save his life from a bomb planted in the North Tower by the Dirty Duo, though. I heard about that on the news. That was you? It was on the news? Neat! After that, they promoted me to major crimes, and I've just been working on cases ever since. Wow, that's almost too much to believe, rookie. It looks like you've also finally managed the trigger on that patience in time. Oh yeah! I think Tragus must just not have put his together right. Ever since I got this one, I haven't had any problems. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Tragus. Wow, Rookie is actually kind of awesome now. It's nice being with someone so focused for once. Oh wow! A truck just pulled up! I see some guys coming out to unload and I, I think I see the EMPs! Let's go. Police! Put your hands in the... Well, that's just rude. Can't even wait for me to finish speaking. I think if you cover me, I can sprint around and surprise them from behind. Are you sure? That's really risky. I'll be fine. In college, I set the university record for 100 meter sprint. Wait, really? Yeah. Why would I lie about that? It's just... 
Never mind. Go. I'll keep him distracted. Hey, Tragus, what's up? Uh, it's 614, Winters. You know I always call it 614. Oh, yeah, duh. So how goes the investigation? So I think I found the base on- Yeah, that's great, buddy. So listen, Millie is in the bathroom right now, and I need your help. We just got our appetizers, and I've already told her all my stories. What do I do? What stories did you use? Well, I told her about all my black belts. You have a black belt? Wait, multiple black belts? Oh, yeah. They sell them in a clothing store, next to the ties. I don't know why people think they're so prestigious. I have several. Oh, gosh, those are just regular belts. Don't talk about how many belts you own on a first date. Don't talk about any belts on any date. Well, okay, what about airline food? What? Well, girls like funny guys, right? Don't funny guys talk about airline food? Whoa. I mean, I've already talked about my biceps, so airline food's probably the best route to go. Okay, listen to me. Do not talk about any of that stuff. Just... I gotta, I gotta go. go. Any last words, pig? He's got plenty of words. But you've got the right to remain silent. Millie, are you all right? Tragus! I stepped outside for a second and some big guy toppled me over. He had a gun. I was so scared. Where did he go? He was heading that way. Leave it to me. Ah, oh, crap. Sometimes I wish I was as fast as I was in college. Look, I told you once and I'll tell you again, I don't know nothing. Look, man, we just want to know what the EMPs were for. You can tell us and walk out, or you can stay here until you change your mind. It's all up to you. Fine. Now, I ain't never known exactly who was buying my shipments. My line of work, you don't ask too many questions as long as the money comes in. I just dropped off the EMPs where they told me. I heard something about a gun runner or something, but I just kept my head down and dropped off my goods where I was told. Anything else? In three days, I was supposed to drop off another load of the Cosmodrome docks. Bigger than usual, too. Something's gonna go down soon, but it sure ain't my business knowing what. Well, that's our business, then. Come on, Rook. We got our lead. Boom! There's episode four, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to show some love for the episode, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons below, baby. And while we're on the subject of subscribing, make sure you head on over to our incredibly talented guest star Bife's YouTube and Twitch channels. He's kind of a big deal around here, so I'm sure you all already follow him. But in case you didn't know, he's sort of the king of lore around these parts. He makes highly entertaining and informative content that's way better than anything that we release, and just, just, just do yourself a favor and go. Click on the links in the description and subscribe to him. I command you. Normally, this is the part where I tell you that next week's episode will be premiering on Monday on our Twitch, but unfortunately, we will be taking a short break from releasing episodes. With Guardian Con coming up on June 30th, we'll be severely lacking in time to edit, and we still have quite a bit that we need to film for the remaining half of the season. Have no fear, though. We'll be working tirelessly in the coming weeks to get everything filmed and edited so we can resume releasing as soon as possible. In the meantime, if you want to keep up with what we're doing, make sure you head over to twitch.tv slash huskyraid where I stream every weekday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We even have plans to actually stream some of the filming process in the future just so you have proof that we are indeed working. If you just want to get to the news, make sure you head over to our Twitter account, at HuskyRaidGuys, which is the first place that any important news will be posted. I think that about wraps it up for this incredibly long-winded outro. Thanks again for watching, for being patient, and as always, for being awesome. See you soon.